My name is Masood Mazhar and I am from Pakistan and I am uh, now 78 years old. I started playing bridge early 60s, 1960s. My father used to play bridge and I used to sit on the table and see him and then slowly I learned from there and by the time I went to the university and uh, that was in 1962 and we started playing bridge on a regular basis. I have been playing uh, bridge all the time throughout my life. 20 years at least. We know each other at least for 20 years. He does nothing but play bridge. For me, bridge is a really addiction. I mean, and it's the most relaxing, most social and uh, most uh, challenging. There are so many combinations and permutations when you're playing bridge. Every time you have to think like in chess, I'm challenged on your mind all the time and you can't lose concentration. I've been all over the world because of bridge. I've met so many different people all over the world playing bridge. So, and the first time I went to the World Championship was in 1994 to Albuquerque. Played for Pakistan in different places. Played bridge all over the world. I like China the most. I'm not joking with you. I came to China for the first time in 1995. There were only bicycles. Everybody used to ride a bicycle up and down in Beijing. I hardly ever you saw a car. And then I came, the next time after that, I came during the Beijing Olympics. And by that time, China had changed. Every year, I mean, I'm amazed, wherever. And now Hangzhou and over here, and this is wonderful, I mean, you know. Look at those high-speed trains, I mean, you go in them, and they run from one end of the country to the other. China is a huge country, and these roads are anywhere and everywhere there are these highways. That they are going to be the big power in this world, and nobody can stop it now. I mean, we've always been treated very well. People are so nice to us. And uh, we've had a lovely time. I mean, uh, the transportation, the competition, the playing areas. I mean, they've taken care of everything. And there's nothing missing. I mean, they even give us a card to go on the metro. We go free anywhere in Hangzhou. Today is my second game. I played every game. I played all the rounds as yet, not tired yet. <laughs> I get up every day in the morning at 6.30, 6 o'clock, and start bridge at 9 and I get home at 9.30. So 12 hours, 12 and a half hours, I'm over here playing bridge every day. No, oh, I bridge doesn't tire me. I could play another two hours right now, three hours without any problem. Now Asian Games is going to be after four years, and that's a long time, I mean, so by that time I think probably start slowing down a little bit. Getting new people coming in, so that's going good. So I want people to come and take place, uh, take uh, our place now. I mean, so we are working on that. So hopefully, yes, should be the last Asian game now. You know that a uh, lot of older people play bridge. So because everybody, every parent wants their children to become an engineer, to become a doctor, to get a good job, to study, do well, and not waste time on bridge. I hope. I mean, it's getting bigger and bigger now. How's the game? Is that okay? Very good. Very good. Yeah, this one was a very good game. I mean, we haven't done very well throughout because we have a lot of new players. Every time you sit on the table, you learn something new. It's endless. We haven't done well. We haven't played well. Uh, team that why competition-wise, we are... But, on the other hand, we are very happy. And we are very satisfied that, I mean, this was one of the most enjoyable trips that we've had in a long time. And I hope who, who, um, people who win, they do very well, I mean, and they deserve it. I mean, I wish everybody all the best, I mean. And it's wonderful competition, I mean, you know, win or lose, it's enjoyable. 